All right, guys, Dog of Aries here. Um, I recently subscribed to the Unbox thingy. And this month's, what, what is this? What is this month? March. It's March, right? So the March 2020 box is from the Land of Palms, which is Brazil, apparently. So um, we did do this before, but like I forgot to hit record. So two of these things are already open. My bad. All right. So the first thing we tried was this, um, this Pipico Dos Blue Sweetened Popped Corn Snack. All right. So here you go. We're going to try it again. So, actually pretty good. Yeah. Um, if it smacks, that's what it tastes like to me. Why are you? I like it. <laughs> smacks remind me of my grandma. Why? Because that and puffed rice cereal or one two cereal she ever had. It's like that. And then sardines on a cracker and then boiled chicken. Like gotcha. So if you want anything with flavor, you got smacks. Yeah. <laughs> or chicken ramen noodles. Thank you. Okay. And, um, says, so, serving size is one bag, 110 calories. Not bad. Sweet popcorn based on those words alone. What kind of yum are you picturing? Caramel corn, chocolate drizzled corn. Well, put... All your expectations aside, the yum you're about to eat, oh, which we already have, is different from any popcorn you've tried before. The authentic people code dosi. I don't know that word. Literally sweet pop. Oh, it means literally sweet popcorn. Gotcha. It is made from a different kind of corn called kanjika. That's why it doesn't look like normal popcorn. That explains it. Yeah, instead of popping the kanjika or kernels, I hope I'm the sorry. corn. Yeah, like I'm, I'm, Insert I'm probably corn. like gutting this language to oblivion. But replace like, that word with corn. Attain their shape and expand, becoming super soft and airy. Just add sugar, so it's like kettle cooked. Okay, I explained it. And it's hugely popular, uh, Brazilian snack sensation, and a brand new popcorn for you. It's I like it. I do. But I like kettle cooked, so. Hmm. Alright. Second thing we tried was the mandioca chips. Casavana chips with onion and parsley. Artificially flavored. I like these two. They're, but it's like a potato chip. Uh, Tastes like onion. Like um, a sour cream and onion chip. Pretty good though. It looks cool. Mm -hmm. And it's made with that thing. So it's not like a normal like potato chip. It's like a different type of potato or whatever. I don't know. Root vegetable? Yeah, that thing. <laughs> potatoes vegetables. Hmm? Are potatoes vegetables? Or root. I have no idea how that would be classified. I used to think if the seeds were edible, it was a vegetable. And if it wasn't edible, seeds weren't edible, like an apple. It was a fruit. But apparently a tomato is a fruit, and they have edible seeds. So I, I, I don't understand the classification anymore. My second grade teacher lied to me, so. Hi. Okay, so the mandioca chip. What's that word? Cebola? Onion? <laughs> How does that say onion? It says onion. Oh. Okay. Like you can't read onion. I, I'm not that illiterate. Crap. Shit. I mean. Okay. Brazil is crazy for casavana, um, mandioca, in Portuguese. A nutty flavored root vegetable. Ah, see, it is a root vegetable. It's a vegetable. That's what it is. Okay. Native to the country. It's been a local staple for 10,000 years. 
Yes, we wrote 10,000. Okay. First domesticated in the Amazon. Uh, in the Amazon, the vegetable is now grown in to toasted stuffing dish called farofa. Oh god, I I I feel like Scott should be here to like read this for me because I like I feel like I'm gutting this language to oblivion and I I'm not happy well, about I that. Well, I pronounced onion correctly, so I'm okay. Okay, but that wasn't the I was pointing at Cebola, Cabola. I, I don't know. Okay, Remove the scene. It says Ebola. So, <laughs> like, uh, delicious. <laughs> All right. Boiled in a hearty beef and tomato stew called vodka. A tolada. At okay, a tolada, okay. or fermented into a flavorful beer called. Looks like cumin, both eggs. Yeah. Cumin? Uh, let's call it that. Yeah. When we go to Brazil, I'm gonna, I, I might try that. That'd be pretty cool. I don't know. You'll get a taste of an ancient veggie with these crispy chips dusted with Brazil's most popular snack flavoring, onion and parsley. Okay. Gotcha. Wait. That's parsley? the most popular. Yeah, I didn't taste any pop, uh, parsley, but I don't That's think parsley really That's the most popular flavor? Oh, yes. Oh. Onion, onion, and parsley. Oh. That's what it said. Most popular snack flavoring. It's a bit of the very, very old and new all together. Well, that's that. I wonder what the United States' most popular flavor is. Chocolate. But that's not... I don't fucking know. What? What do... I don't know. Grease? Apple pie? I mean... I don't know. We don't really make it. All right. Much. Delicotos? I haven't tried these yet. These look like they're going to be spicy, or I'm hoping, because they have a little chili on it. Right. Oh. And you know what? You read this, because, like, I'm tired of the language. It's like... Delictius? Read that. What is that word? Oh, um... Yeah, see? <laughs> no, you don't... Oh, you gotta read it first. You don't want me to say that. So... Salgadino del Trigo. I'm trying to add a... And, yeah. And, um... So we're gonna open it. And it's... Hey, at least, at least it's full. Yay! Oh, they know how to fill their bags in Brazil. You don't pay for half a bag of air. Aww. Okay, these are like... Like, uh, the 3D chips. I wasn't born yet. So, like, I've seen it on Facebook, but I've never had it. Wow, oh, they're chili flavored, but they're not really spicy. They, they feel like they're dusted with it. Like, a little bit. But then again, if you've seen my other videos, y'all know. It no, a lot it of has, like, the chili flavor of the pepper without the spice. Yeah. I like it. It's like baby sopapillos. Little tiny pillows. Yeah, I want some more. It's pretty good. My favorite so far. Yeah. Well, it looks like we got some sweets coming up here. Yay, candy. Okay, one more. Right. <laughs> okay, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Okay. Now, that word we just said. That is... It's a wheat snack with chili pepper seasoning. Delicatos sabor pimenta. It's no secret Brazil uh, Brazilians like things hot. Okay, that's not hot. Okay. <laughs> Just look at the country's favorite chili pepper, the Malaguta. What? Malagueta? Yeah, that sounds right. Yeah, let's go with that. It has a Scoville rating of... A hundred thousand. It's 40 times spicier than the average jalapeno. And they said whopping, but that that's not intimidating at all. For most people here, it is. Uh, apparently, like, we got some really white people here. <laughs> anyway, so of course we wanted to give you a sample of Brazil's fiery cuisine, but that was not spicy at all. Like, at all. 
But we didn't want you racing to stick your tongue under a kitchen faucet. That's where the scrumptious, this scrumptious snack comes in. With an addictive crunch, yes, it did. And just the right amount of peppery spice. The only place you'll be racing to is the bottom of the bag. Yeah, I could eat that whole They thing. got pizza flavored ones. Ooh, good. I wish it was spicier. Like, for real. Because, like, I like the flavor, but, like, I need to put, like, some Texas Pete Hot or Hot on it or something. I think it's good as is. Okay. What? Are these the same thing? These yeah. look like the same thing. What does the label say? These. Oh, are those tiny liquors? Tiny what? You ever had like the chocolate liquor inside? No, it's not alcohol. Peanut candy bar. Yeah, see? Okay. So this is a, uh, um, this. It's a uh, peanut candy bar, dos de la mano. Yeah, I can't really read. Paco, it's covered by this little sticker, so I can't really read the whole thing. Then again, I can't really read this language at all. So, Ooh. I'm just going to open it. No, I took my sticker oh. off it. Revealed the rest of the word. Oh, gotcha. Let me look. Paco Quita. Paco Quita. So, that's a De Carva Nova. Okay. So... Oh, it's got a little peanut guy. I think it's peanut. Oh, God. Mine's all broken up. I don't like that. Is it supposed to be? I don't know. I've never had one of these before. Oh, it kind of looks like a chiclet. A what? Chiclets? Okay, we're going to use yours because... Okay, this is like what it looks cork. like. It looks like a cork. Yeah, no, it's pretty cool. I think it's a group chat. Mm -hmm. Okay. Alright. Yeah, it looks like a cork. I'm gonna eat the crumbled one. Okay, fine. Eat the crumbled one. Okay. How's it taste? Like peanut butter? I smell like peanut butter. I like that one Mexican candy, the Maza, with the little rose on it, but with more peanut butter. Tastes like and dry less, peanut butter. And less powdered sugar flavor. That's exactly what that is. Like the inside of a Reese's without the chocolate. Yep. That's what this tastes like to me. I eat the whole thing. Eat it. Eat it. It's a piece of candy. I'm trying, I'm trying to open it, but the tape on it is keeping me from opening it. And then, like, it's crumbly. it got complicated. Yeah, it got shattered. There you go. Just put it in your mouth. All right. So we have bibs. I can read that. Forty percent cocoa for the chocolate one, and then we got two different flavors. Oh wait, I can just read the thingy on the Papa Coco Quito or whatever Paco Quito. Every June, Brazilians put on their best farmer's costume and take to the streets, where they play fiddles. Oh really? Okay, per perform in square dances. Okay, so they get really country hillbilly. Why? Oh, will probably tell me. Blah, 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 blah. Square dances, light enormous bonfires. Part religious festival and part harvest festival. Festa Junina was adapted from the European Midsummer Festivals by Brazilian farmers called Ca Caperos? Yes. So they're Brazilian farmers. Who... Uh, Incorporated their favorite rural traditions, but our favorite isn't the bonfires or the dancing, it's the pacoco. This traditional cupboard spe specialty, yeah, made with peanut sugar and salt, it is a signature sweet for um, of the celebration. We just had to share its crumbly, nutty deliciousness. They could have worded that better. Even if we're a few months early to the party. Gotcha. So apparently this is, this fiesta festival is a couple months from now. That's cool. Yeah. All right. We got two of the bibs. That I can read. So cool. They're called bibs. 
And that's all the other nonsense stuff. 40% cocoa is a lot. Yeah, let's see. We'll try this one after we eat this one because we're going to share this one. Flocus? Is it flow? What's that flavor called? Flocus? Flocus? Flocus. All right, I'm just going to show you and you can describe it. It's going to so. be like a crunch bar. Oh, okay. How do you know that? Oh, because of the I like looks? food. Okay. Gotcha. All right. I look like I like food. <sighs> so. God. Oh, it's got some warmth to it, don't it? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it, it is like a crunch bar. It's got a little crispy. It's a crunch bar. Yeah. It's a crunch bar if the American taken out. It tastes like a crunch bar. With dark chocolate instead of milk chocolate. Because Americans like things really sweet. That's what it tastes like. Me too. Mm -hmm. I got dolls. You can have that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's not bad. That's good. Mm -hmm. Wait, what? They have two different. I know, but why does it have two different? They yeah. have different flavors. Are they? They're the same thing. But it's a different flavor. Cool, you read that one. I'll read the next one. Because I'm tired of reading. Um, Bibs, Flocos, dark chocolate with crisp rice. Yeah, I was right. Yeah. Ready for a Portuguese lesson? Oh, God. You'll need it for this yum. The world is flocus and it means flakes. You'll know you'll need to know how to say it if you want to talk about the flocus de neve snowflakes. Flocos de pimenta pepper flakes. Or if you want to understand this chocolate bar. Here, flocus refers to the crunchy flakes of Chris Rice sprinkled throughout this popular dark chocolate bar. In a few short seconds you'll going to locus crazy. Or I think they intentionally used that word way too much just to make it difficult to read. This is what I want because I, anyone who knows me, I love strawberries. So we got a Bibs. Morongo Extreme. I don't think that's strawberry, dude. It said strawberry on the thing. Oh, you we'll read it later. You pre read. I well, I was looking for the orange one and I came across the bibs that which apparently is the pink one. Okay. So Well yay, it's strawberry on the chocolate. Yeah. 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 Smells good. I don't want the cacao percentages on this. Only it tells you. Is it bad when I first saw 40%? I thought it was talking about alcohol content. Yes. Yeah, recovering alcoholic, leave me alone. That's All good. Right. Is it? You gave me food. I'm gonna eat it. <laughs> I like it. I like the other one better though. Like, this is like a, a strawberry's too artificial. It's kind of sour. Or maybe I just don't like white chocolate like that. White chocolate flavor artificially strawberry yogurt. That's where the sour tang is. Yeah. Least favorite so far. I don't even want to finish that. I'm going back first. I didn't want it just to be fair, but... Still number one. Oh, the chocolate covered like strawberry raisin stuff. That's what it reminds me of. I've never had that. Oh, chocolate covered raisins? No, like they got the yogurt kind. Uh huh. They oh, and then you're talking about the, yeah, the strawberry yogurt. Okay, I got what you're saying. Yeah. I need a drink. Wash that down. Ugh. I did not like that. It wasn't that bad. I still like the popcorn. But the original? First yeah. thing we tried? Mm -hmm. The sweet corn? Uh, I'm a fan of this. Rising Grandma's house. Alright, so this thing... Yeah, you read. We only got one more thing. Whatever this yum bag is. I'm gonna find out. 
We are in the box from Brazil. Did you know you're also going to the white chocolate capital of the world? Did not know that. Brazil's the white chocolate capital? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yes, Brazilians eat more white chocolate than any other country, about three times more than the U.S., with annual white so I probably chocolate. just like insulted their entire culture by saying that. <laughs> With annual white chocolate sales amounting $350 million. Why is it so popular there? We think it's the Bibs Bar. White creamy chocolate with bibs of dried morongo strawberries is the great answer to your question. Its milky richness, its milky richness balances perfectly with the fruit sweetness. With the white no. chocolate treat, unlike anything you've ever tried. No, uh, the I'm sorry, the strawberry is they taste sour. Like it, it has like a sour tinge. I'm not a fan. To of. balance the sweet. It, it should. Uh, whatever, I don't care. Say what you want. Okay, so we have the yum bag now. It's the last thing on the video. So let's open it. And it looks like it's gonna have a kit. Those things in it so it's two of each from milano's yeah, two of each so let's go with um go for gold uh, yeah uh no let's go for the this one i already have yours see you to look at it anyway caramel i'm a care is it caramel or caramel well i say caramel caramel whatever Caramel. I mean, that's what the word is. It's caramel, but it's like car caramel. Premium mouse de mucco. How, you, how you spell mouse? M O U S E, right? Mm -hmm. That's mouse with two S's. That's mouse. So <laughs> that's so mouse. So instead of mouse, moose is mooses. No. <laughs> it is, mo is mouse. What is multiple moose? No, mo it's either one moose or. Look at all the moose out there. Yeah, it's moose is it's like deer, deer and deer. Anyway, you're stop. Okay, this is mouse de maracuja. All right, we're gonna read it after we eat it. You have that one. It's partially open, so if it's poisoned, you're gonna get it on me. I'm typo. I'm immune. <laughs> Not very caramelly. It tastes like a hint of a lemon. Or maybe I'm, I should smell retarded. Taste buds. I taste plastic. <laughs> no, like a vanilla Tootsie Roll. Mm. I'm starting to get the lemon. See? Yeah. But this is... Oh, okay. It's passion fruit flavored. Milk caramel. I've never had passion fruit on its own. It's always mixed with something. We sell them at Fruit Tiger. They don't mean I tried it. True. Remember that uber popular dessert, Mouse de Muck? Yeah. No. We mentioned earlier? Yeah, no, we don't remember any of that. You're about to taste it. Widely considered the national dessert of. God, I feel like I'm being mean to, me, <laughs> to their culture because I'm like, this does not taste good. And they're like, this is what they're best known for. And I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> like, I just did the, the white chocolate bar. And Do it now before you actually and go get there. Yeah, yeah. And you're just like, oh my God. Uh, it contains three ingredients condensed milk, cream, and local passion fruit, which is what the maracuja means. Um,. Once combined, these simple ingredients are transformed into a refreshingly airy mouse. Is that? <laughs> Wait, isn't mousse like ice cream though? Like chocolate mousse? A chocolate is... mousse is like. A... Is that what? Is that really the word? Is that? Is that? Is that? <laughs> and you were, just, oh. <laughs> and I've just been retarded. <laughs> My bad, okay? <laughs> Leave a comment in the comments below which one of us is right. I'm, now that I'm reading it in context, in a sentence, I think you're right. Leave me alone. A local so savor by the spoonful or by the nibble. The spoonful? What is it, like liquid? 
Did you just eat a liquid? Well, I mean, yeah, a mousse yeah. is an air weighted, like whipped type of thing. Okay, well. So you eat it with a spoon. Okay, well, it's like gotcha. Leave, leave me alone. I, I, I get it. I get it. I'm sorry. Okay. Oh I'm uncultured. That's what the whole point of this is to increase my cultural blah, whatever that word's supposed to be. So I can take you outside the house. Leave me alone. All right. In the case of these luscious mousse de mucket caramels, uh, what are you waiting for? Taste, uh, taste test two is ready. Okay, so yay, here we go. Taste test number two. This is the other one. This is torta de, oh, this is gonna be lime. Lime pie flavored milk caramel. Oh, it's gonna taste like key lime pie. Uh, no, it's not. I doubt it. But A lime cream? Whatever, try it. It looks exactly the same. I know. I am, I'm definitely tasting the lime. Wow, this is taking 25 minutes to make. This is pretty good. Oh, this one's not bad. The lime isn't overpowering. Why do we taste lemon, though? Mm -hmm. I guess passion fruit tastes like lemon. Mm. Okay. Let me read this one. Originally made to Asia. I didn't know limes were Asian. Everything's Asian. True. Limes were first brought Even to Brazil. <laughs> limes were brought in the 16th century to Portuguese sailors who had used them to prevent scurvy on their long journeys to the New World. Once in Brazil, limes were used for more appetizing purposes, namely their light creamy key um, lime pie. Told you it was gonna be key lime pie. Whatever. It's torta de lemos. Limos. Limos. <laughs> Similar to key lime pie, this Brazilian uh, specialty features a crumbly dough base Dingy lime cream and an airy meringue topping. This caramel is inspired by the Torta de Lamos and is first up on the tasting challenge. Well, no, that's a lie because this was second. Yeah. So, all right. So, we got the, the chips. I'm going to say the. No, these ones. These were the second best. Well, they weren't bad. Yeah, I like them. Then, this is definitely my, my favorite. What was your favorite? Grandma. I can get this in the, in the States, but like, huh? I can get that in the States, but that's number one. Okay. Oh, I'm just covering your face. Anyway, my bad. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's my favorite. I don't care. I'm not doing this part. All right. I'm sorry. I was about to, but like, cause like I can't. Uh, you can't. Have, I don't. Uh, you can't have the bet. Like, there's two. There's only four category. It doesn't make sense. I'm. I'm too OCD. You have to have a. Kid. It's an irrelevant. It needs yeah. to be One, two, three, four, five. There you go. Exactly. If there's Literally one, two, three, three four, five, six, seven, eight things to judge. What? The drama about fighting chickens. Fight of the roosters. Luta de Galo. Gualo. An even number of players. A small cloth. For each other, how to play. You got cover each, each, other head with a each player tucks their cloth into their waistline. It's secure but still visible. Players then split into pairs and choosing an opponent. Both players cross their right arm together across their chest and lift their left foot off the ground using their free arm. They must attempt to grip. Okay, so it's like a three legged race. Used with flag football. Okay. That'd be so that's what they said. There, there, there's a little game. Do I want to play? And must attempt to grab the opponent's flag. Whoever is the first to snag is the winner. But beware if a player puts their left foot back on the ground or unfolds their right arm, their opponent wins. There's a fun game, for, a Brazilian game, if you guys want to play. And it's called Fight of the Roosters. Luta de Gallo. All right. That's cool. Hungry for more yums. All right. Clue to next month's box. Our next destination is famously cheery. How come? We ask. We all have a theory. 
It's not the colorful skies of castles. It's the incredible yums with cookie dough, licorice. It's gonna be somewhere in freaking uh, Europe. But anyway, that's this month. Let's see what next month is. Next month. Deuces. And England. thank you. England. That's what I was thinking. Cheerio. It's England. Where it's got you? castles and stuff. Yeah, where's a UC Cheerio? Cheery. They say Cheerio. Oh, gotcha. I'm huh. smart. All right. Deuces, y'all.